In the last video, we introduced the student's t distribution, uh, and now we're going to use it to infer the mean of a population. So here's an example. Uh, it is difficult to imagine the size of the blue whale. Um, there are records of individuals over 100 feet long, but 80 feet is probably average. Suppose a researcher wonders if environmental factors such as climate change, pollution, and whalers have caused any changes in the length of the blue whale. A random sample of 15 whales from the coast of California yielded a mean length of 75 feet and a standard deviation of 13 feet. Answer the researcher's question using both a 95% confidence interval and a hypothesis test. And note the duality between those two things. So we've got that n equals 15. S, the sample standard deviation, is 13. X bar, the sample mean, is 75. So we know that our standard error in both the confidence interval and the hypothesis test are going to be uh, 13 divided by the square root of 15, which is 3.3566. And so let's start by doing the confidence interval. And remember, this is going to be a 95% confidence interval. Uh, so T star is going to be the inverse t of 0.975 with 14 degrees of freedom, because n was 15, so the degrees of freedom is 14. Uh, and we actually calculated this in the last video to be 2.145. So our confidence interval is 75 minus 3.3566 times 2.145 up to 75 plus 3.3566 times 2.145, which is equal to 67.8001 up to 82.1999. So we are 95% confident that blue whales are between 67.8001 and 82.1999 feet long on average. Uh, one comment I want to make here is in the last two chapters we've been dealing with proportions where all of the numbers are going to be between 0 and 1. So now that we're talking about means, our standard deviations are going to end up being a lot bigger. Um, so don't be concerned if you get a standard deviation like 3.35, whereas all of your standard deviations have been very small numbers up until now. We're dealing with different kinds of numbers when we talk about means. Uh, notice that I included the units, feet long. Um, in my interpretation of the confidence interval, um, I don't multiply by 100% anymore. You can think about percent as the units of proportions, but now that we're not doing proportions anymore, our units are going to be other kinds of things. All right, so next, let's do the hypothesis test. Our null hypothesis, given the problem, is that the true mean is 80 feet. Our alternative hypothesis, uh, it asked, have, has climate change caused any changes in the length? So caused any changes. That means that it's not going to be greater than or less than, but maybe it's just going to be different. So our alternative hypothesis is that mu is not equal to 80 feet. As before, our standard error is uh, 3.3566, so we can dive right into calculating the test statistic TC. That's going to be our sample mean, 75, minus our supposed true mean, 80, divided by our standard error, 3.3566, giving us a test statistic of negative 1.4896. So we're going to have a T distribution here, which looks kind of normal except for fatter tails. And our mean is a, a test statistic of 0, so a test statistic of... Uh, 1.4 is going to be out here. 
So in a two-sided test, we're looking at both the left tail and the right tail probabilities. So our p-value is going to be double the TCDF of positive 1.4896 up to 9999 with 14 degrees of freedom, which gives us a p-value of 0.1585. The interpretation of that p-value is if the blue whale is 80 feet long on average, we'd see our data, or more extreme, 15.88% of the time. Our conclusion, therefore, is there is little to no evidence, since our p-value was greater than 10%, there is little to no evidence that the mean length of the blue whale has changed. And again, there's going to be a duality between our hypothesis test results and our confidence interval results. All right, so remember that our confidence interval contains 80 feet, right? It's centered at 75. It goes down to about 67, and it goes up to 82. And so 80 is right here. So since it's in the interval, it's a likely value for mu naught, or it's a likely value for mu. Therefore, that gives us, our sample gives us little evidence that the mean is not 80 feet because 80 feet is one of our likely means according to the confidence interval.